Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number 32. If this is your first time here, I do project videos every week using a laser engraver. And if you like them type of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. In this project, we're gonna make some stickers. How I came up with this project, I was looking at my laptop and I noticed I only have one sticker on my laptop. And I like seeing those laptops where they be having a whole bunch of stickers all over it. So I decided let's do some, make some stickers. Hey, see, I'm the type of person that I don't like to buy anything if I don't have to. I like to use what I already got if I already have it. And I have some of this label paper right here that I've been having for a while that I use to print shipping labels on. And it's like, it's, it's like it got a, like a cut inside of it, if you can see, where you can like peel it off. And it's like, it's like sticker on the back of it when you peel it off. And this brand was a, it's an Avery brand. I think I got this out of Office Depot or Office Max, one of them like that. Since the laser can cut paper, let's try to use this to make some stickers. These are the stickers that I'm gonna put on the back of my laptop. I have outlines going around all of the stickers, except for this last camera right here. And I'm gonna show you how I did it using Corel Draw. So the first thing you wanna do is make a copy of it on the second page. I already did so. And you don't wanna move it from the location that it's already in. So let me zoom in. And once you made your copy, we're just gonna click it. And I usually go to convert to bitmap, black and white bitmap, I go to quick trace. And then once you go to quick trace, you wanna go to objects, you wanna go to order, and you wanna move it to the back because the other image is in the front of it. Well, the other image was in the back of it. So this old image, we don't need it anymore convert all of this to black so I click it and change it all to black like this repeat the same steps that I did before convert to a bitmap black and white once you get the black and white I'd go to trace bitmap do a quick trace once you got a quick trace once again go to objects move it to the back then I delete this one then once we got the delete right there we go to hairline change it to a hairline then I empty it out and then we just have the shape of the camera that the file was and we're gonna put a contour around it so we go over here to contour click what we want and I'm gonna go on the outside one step at 0 0.1 click it put a contour around it and there you have it so you want to get rid of this inside box so we're going to select the whole entire thing and then we're going to go up to object and we're going to go to break contour apart and once you do that it'll let you just select it and then you empty it out and there you have it you have the outline right here that's why it's important not to move it copy Go back to the image, go to edit and paste, and there you have it. You have a contour going around the whole sticker. Also on the tutorial that I did on how to get the contour around your stickers, you're gonna have to export that as a PDF and then you're gonna upload that to Glowforge. Okay, I have my sticker paper inside of the Glowforge. As you can see, I got magnets holding it down on the corners. There's one right there in the middle and on the corners down there, just so the paper don't move. And also, when you do get your PDF uploaded, your outline uploaded to your, uploaded to Glowforge, you will have to manually put the outlines around the stickers where you want it to cut. You will have to play with the settings to see what really works to cut it out. I was, it's a, it was a lot of trial and error before I figured out the right cut that I like to cut out the stickers completely. And I will show you right here. I went with 500 speed, 60% power, one pass, and 0.01 .01 focus height in inches. Right, there you have it there's the stickers they turned out really good i really like how they turned out i mean i mean it ain't the best because i guess it ain't the it ain't that shiny glossy paper but it is it's the matte kind i didn't realize that until after i printed on them
there you have it project number 32 complete laser cut diy stickers if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up and i'll see you in the next project